I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab and today I'm in Healesville to witness a Fox ESS installation at this beautiful house down a leafy suburb. Now it's being done by my good friends from Total Solar Solutions, uh, headed by Rhys Kennedy, who's actually one of my older students, so <laughs> good one Rhys. Now what we've got here is a, a 13 kilowatt PV array, two Fox 5 kilowatt inverters and 13.4 kilowatt hours of Fox ESS battery storage. Now the reason for the battery storage is uh, this is a work from home family and that means they're going to use a lot of that 13 kilowatts of PV during the day directly to run the home and charge the batteries. But come nightfall is when they can start using that battery system. So they really only need the 13.4 kilowatt hours of battery storage once the sun's gone down. Anyway, let's go and check out how the installation's going. Hey, g'day Reese. How are you going? <laughs> How are you going? Yeah, good, thank you. Cool. So, Total Soul Solutions, tell us a bit about your company. Uh, family owned business uh, in Bayswater in uh, Melbourne. Been around for about 15 years now, and we are here today in Hillsville helping demo site for our, our customer and Fox ESS with their new hybrid Gen 2 series. Right, so this is there's two of them. Yep. Um, what model are these? These are the new five kilowatt hybrid G2s. So this is our first install of uh, this model, uh, which is currently about to be released in our um, market. Right, and you've got a battery pack with it as well. What's the capacity of this? This one here is 14.6 uh, kilowatt hours. So it's three stacks of 4.8 kilowatt hours and we can stack it seven high up to 33 kilowatt hours. Wow, 33 kilowatt hours, that, that's pretty impressive. And a very small footprint. It is very small. So um, what sort of output can you get from one of these? Uh, so on the backup side, uh, each one will give you 22.7 amps. Uh, so about 45 amps once we parallel them and with a, another stack. Now you said parallel the backups. Yeah. You can do that? Yeah, we can, yeah. Wow. So on the backup side, we can parallel it. Um, and the slave model um, communicate through RS485 and it will follow the sync of the master. Right. So at the moment, we've got one battery pack connected to one inverter. Yep. But this is uh, this inverter is ready for another battery pack. Uh, correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Reese, uh, what's this? Uh, this is the new Fox ESS uh, single phase charger, 7.3 kilowatt. Wow. Okay. It's a really nice looking thing. It's got a little green ring. Does that change color? Uh, yeah, it goes to blue when it's uh, plugged in and charging. Right. Now, this, because it's branded Fox, does it share some smarts with the rest of the Fox system? Uh, yeah, it does. So it's once it's connected to the Wi-Fi, it'll all integrate with the new Fox hybrid, and then we can choose the mode that we want to set it up for, which there's a few options. So you can do smart solar charging, for instance. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yep, definitely. Oh, that's pretty yep. cool. Now, I believe these come in at 11 and 22 kilowatt for three phase as well. So yeah, they three do. Phase power. Yep. It's a pretty sweet looking little unit. Yeah, so it comes with the tethered cable all attached to it and uh, it was pretty easy to install. So, so far, so good. G'day, here I am again, this time back in the lab. Wanted to show you a little bit more about this unit that we installed uh, in the video that you've been watching. Well, wasn't that a fun day uh, with the, the team from Total Solar Solutions led by Reese Kennedy. Now I'm back in the lab here with exactly the same kind of system. This is the Fox ESS 5 kilowatt hybrid with the Energy Cube. Uh, these are the smaller battery modules. They're physically the same dimensions, but they come in different capacities. These are the 2.9 kilowatt hour units here, and I've got five. So the top unit actually is the BMS and a battery as well. 
So I thought I'd just uh, tell you a little bit more about uh, Fox CSS and uh, this product here. So I've actually been to the factory where they make their batteries and I was super impressed. Basically, robot control, amazing. Minerals in one end, batteries out the other. Really, really high tech stuff. And uh, as a result, that the product's really you know uniform in terms of its production. Uh, there, there's not lots of dodgy soldering going on. This whole thing is made at high precision and tested. So um, just a few things about this inverter here. The hybrid inverters from Fox come in a range of sizes. Uh, in Australia, we're getting the five kilowatt uh, unit. I'm not sure if we get the six, we might get the six as well, but they do come in a range of sizes. This is a single phase five kilowatt unit, the same as the ones installed uh, in the video that you've been watching uh, in the home uh, in Victoria. So th this is a dual MPPT device. Uh, each input's rated for 16 amps of IMP. That means it's uh, peak continuous current rating and 20 amps of short circuit. Now. For those who are installing in Australia and New Zealand, we do have to have that 25% safety margin for the ISC input of the inverter. So that's a really big plus with these. Uh, it basically means you can put panels that put, have an ISC of up to 16 amps. So it's a pretty big panel. The uh, startup voltage is a mere 75 volts. Now that means this first light, this thing is doing some work. So you're getting the, the beginning and the end of the day uh, really well. Maximum input voltage 600 volts, which is kind of pretty standard at the moment, and a maximum DC input power of 7.5 kilowatts. Now, for those who are in Australia and know about the CEC rules with the 133% oversizing rule, that only applies for grid-tied inverters without batteries. Once you add batteries, you can go up to whatever the manufacturer recommends. So in this case, 7.5 kilowatts of PV. Now, you might think, well, hang on, it's only a 5 kilowatt inverter. Why would I put more PV on it? because it could charge batteries as well as invert at the same time. Kind of, it can sing and dance. <laughs> it's a pretty clever little piece of kit. The, the batteries here are lithium ferrophosphate, the, you know, the safe lithium. These are um, capable of delivering up to 40 amps of continuous current, and their voltage range depends on how many you stack together, because they are series connected modules. There's no cables, they just plug into each other as you stack them. And so they go from uh, 80 volts right up to about 480 volts DC uh, in a, a very tall stack. I think that's going to get you uh, possibly up to, I think, 33 kilowatt hours of storage. Uh, might fact check that one. The maximum input power of this is 10 kilowatts. Now you might think, well, hang on, it's a five kilowatt inverter. Why do you need 10 kilowatts of input power? That's because it's actually got an EPS function. Now, EPS, or you know, often referred to as a central power system, uh, is the ability for it to operate independently of the grid. But it can also provide power to that EPS circuit while the grid's present. And if the grid's present, that means it could use the grid to charge batteries and supply power through to the loads. So the input rating needs to be somewhat higher than the EPS rating. So what is the maximum EPS rating? Well, it's uh, 5,000 VA volt amps, uh, allowing for power factor. So that's around about uh, four and a half kilowatts of uh, AC power uh, in backup mode when the grid's not present. It can put out up to 21.7 amps on that EPS circuit, so in single phase. The uh, maximum output of the EPS does have a peak rating of six kilowatts for 60 seconds. And that's quite important because, you know, sometimes you have little peaky loads that start up high and then wind back again to a stable power draw. So it's pretty useful. But one thing that really, really impressed me about this, now uh, I'm not pulling your leg here, you can actually parallel the EPS output of these inverters. Now, I've only got one here in the lab, but at the uh, installation you saw, we had two. Now, apparently you can go up to 10 and parallel all the EPS outputs together if you're on grid and four if you're off grid. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means you can, with these five kilowatt inverters, uh, adding 10 of them and paralleling the EPS outputs together, get up to 50 kilowatts of backup power. Whoa, I mean, you might just start with a bigger inverter, but it does mean that you can add more inverters, more batteries, and increase your, your backup power rating. Now that's pretty clever. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I've really enjoyed installing this unit. It's very straightforward, looks great, 
uh, makes a nice little seat here too, just to lean on. Anyway, thanks for watching.